and the impeachment of the deputy governor of Zamfara State, Madi Gussel, has been a matter of concern for lawyers. The People's Democratic Party and Nigerians. And earlier on the breakfast, the People's Democratic Party chairman in the state, Colonel Bala Mande, says the chief judge had set a panel to impeach the deputy governor, knowing fully well that he was a party to the case filed. Actually, um, this impeachment move started after the governor had moved to APC. If the governor had remained in CDC, there would have been no impeachment saga at all. But when he moved, the deputy governor, myself, and others decided to remain in CDP. And um, uh, the House of Assembly initially made a move to impeach the governor, I mean the deputy governor. And the deputy governor went to the court, and the court has an injunction for all parties to maintain status quo and fidelity until the hearing and determination of the case before the court. That was last year, 19 July. But for us now to hear the chief judge of the state has set up a seven-month panel. When the chief judge is actually a party to the case, um, as a layman, I thought that should not be the case. But the chief judge went ahead, knowing the chief judge was a party to the case, and set up a seven-month committee. I think that is... Um, uh, uh, this, this regard to the, the, the orders of the High Court. Meanwhile, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Ebunolu Adegborua, says their impeachment should be reversed. In the Federal High Court, before Honorable Justice Ian Epo, filed by the Deputy Governor against his impeachment. And the House of Assembly has been served. The Chief Judge of the state has been served. What is required is for parties to await the final determination of that case as a mark of respect for the authority of the court. So for the House of Assembly to proceed with setting up a panel with allegations to the Chief Judge with reports of the panel and then pronouncing the impeachment of the deputy governor and swearing another person why the case is still pending uh, says a lot about how our leaders respect due process. Because what it means now is that a fait accompli has been forced on the court that whatever decision it may reach eventually will probably become a nullity in the sense that the person has been impeached and another person has been sworn in. And if we continue like that, we are entrenching a reign of impunity in our country, which is contrary to democracy. So they have broken the law. So the law that has been broken by Zamfara State, House of Assembly, and the Chief Judge in this case, is Section 6 of the Constitution and the relevant precedents by which all lawyers and judges have accepted to honor and obey the authority of the court once a case is already pending in any court in respect of any dispute. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.